Hello guys, my name is Matthew Fred, I'm 16 years old, and I can't wait to welcome you to my show, Bedtime Stories and Voices. Today we have a very special guest, Barack Hussein Obama, the President of the United States. Barack is going to be reading A Light in the Attic by Shelv Silverstein. There's poems and drawings by Mr. Silverstein himself. So Barack, come on up. <laughs> Thank you so much. How are you? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, man, for having me on the show. Oh, the music's still going? Sorry. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I'm very excited to be doing some voices for you. So here we go. We're going to be doing a, some Mr. Silverstein. He's a great author, and we're going to dive right into it. I'm just going to pick a random poem for you. Here we go. The musical career. She wanted to play the piano, but her hands couldn't reach the keys. When her hands could finally reach the keys, her feet couldn't reach the floor. When her hands could finally reach the keys and her feet could reach the floor, she didn't want to play that old piano anymore. Now that's good, Mr. Silverstein. That is good. Anteater. A genuine anteater, the pet man told my dad. Turned out it was an anteater. And now my uncle's mad. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> That's good. That's what I'm talking about, Mr. Silverstein. That's good. One more. The Buck and Bronco. The Buck and Bronco. Can you ride the Buck and Bronco? Can you stay in that old saddle till your teeth begin to rattle? Can you whoop and bounce and stick upon his back? Can you ride the bucking bronco while he's snorting smoke and kicking? And your stomach starts to sicken and you feel as though your spine's about to crack. Now, I just want to say that Mr. Silverstein is a poetic genius. And he knows how to match words together. And I think that we can learn from Mr. Silverstein as an American people. Because in America, we try to piece together all the pieces of the puzzle. And we can eventually make works of genius just like Mr. Silverstein did in his novel. We are an American people. We are more than a collection of poems. We are a people together, binded and united by the Constitution. So until next time, thank you so much. Wow, that was awesome. Thank you so much, Barack, for coming on the show. Until next time, I'm Matt Friend, and I'm signing off.